Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to show how you can put a light in this armrest. Welcome to this new video. So the Qashqai comes with this nice little armrest. There is no light source inside. And especially at evening, it can be quite difficult to find your stuff inside when you don't have a little uh, light source. So another channel found a nice solution, really easy with a USB up and a little USB light source. Quite clever, a shout out to him. But I don't want to clutter the inside anymore. As you can see, I already have my USB adapter for my dash cam, my phone charger. And I have another cable in the USB port for the CarPlay. So I really would like to have it as much as original look as it could be. So I figured out that we maybe can put a little light source beneath here. It would be invisible at sight, but it would be great to have it shine inside of the box. So let's start. As a power source, I'm going to use my power socket right in here, but I also will use a mercury switch in order to activate the light only when the cover is open. So on the J11A cars, the power socket is situated in the back and you can simply remove the back cover. For the J11B cars, the power socket is in the front and you have to remove this little cover in order to access the wires. So now I'm going to undo the three bolts here. This way I can remove the cover. So with that part undone, we can see that we just have enough space in here to place my mercury switch as this. So for those who aren't familiar with the system, these are mercury switches and they only make contact in an upward position. So ideally I will attach them in this position when the cover is closed and when it's open, puff, we have a contact. Here is my macro switch. I have isolated them with some shrinking tool. I use the legs to give it a great upward hold like this. And this part just fits in over there. So here's my LED diode. All of these parts you can find in my video description. There are links over there. I want to place my LED diode right in the center, but I have this little awkward part. So I will use some cutting tools in order to remove this part. So with some simple cutting tools, I managed to remove this part and I drilled the hole for my LED diode. As you can see here, and it looks really nice. You can also opt to let the LED just hang over here like this. Personally, I don't think that looks really nice. With this way, it looks really more original. So now I'm going to glue the LED diode and the macro switch in place with some silicone. So everything is sticked on the panel. I use some tape in order to hold the cables in place. And now we can screw the cover back on. I'm back in the car now. 
and I only have to install and wire the cover in the car itself. So you can rip this part off like this, just remove both parts by pushing a little bit that way and that way you can release the clips here as well. In this video I show you how to do it exactly. I don't need to do so, so I will put this back in place as I'm going to use the cable that I already tapped into the power socket that goes to the trunk where I have my 12 volt power socket as well. So here we are at the back. Here you can simply pull on this cover to release it. The cars with USB chargers will have a little cable. And here you can see my cable that is wired to the power socket and that is going to the trunk. So I will split these cables and connect my little light to it. So I found this little space to put the cable through and that comes out great just like here. Let's feed it through a maximum. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. So I fixed it back with three screws. Now I wanted to put the cover back on, but the hole I used to guide the cable through is the hole of this clip. So I just will cut off a little bit of this part. It's way it holds even with the cable. Like this. So there it is. So the first glance at the final result. As you can see, we barely can see the diet. We really have to dive under there in order to, to see it up there. So for that part, I'm quite happy. So now with the scotch lock connectors in place, it is as easy as wiring red to the red wire and black to the black wire. We can nicely put them away. Hide this cable as well, so it doesn't interfere with any of the other parts of the car. Reconnect the USB port. Back in place now. Up, and it goes on. And it goes off. So I am already quite happy with this result. It really is discreet and uh, looks like it is original. Of course, I will come back to you tonight to see the, the real effect at nighttime, which really should make a difference. And there you go.